Many people are going to tend to overthink this math problem. But let's see if you can figure this out. So the question is, if 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, what is the value of 3x minus 4? Now we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is 2, B is 3, C is 5, and D is 6. Now, try not to use a calculator, but if you think you need one, that's fine. But go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the complete steps to solve this problem in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is the problem. So if 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, what is the value of 3x minus 4? So let's see the solution steps to this problem now. Okay, so what is this question actually asking us? Well, it's asking us, what is the value of 3x minus 4? Now, 3x minus 4 must be equal to some numeric value because we have a multiple choice uh, question over here, and all of these are numbers. So 3x minus 4 must be equal to some number. But how can we determine the value of 3x minus 4? Well, we need to understand some basic algebra here. So x is a variable, and in algebra, a variable like x simply represents some number. So if we knew that number, we can simply plug it in right here, and that would be 3 times that number minus 4. We do all that math, and then, of course, we can identify the correct answer. So this is what the question is asking us, but unless we know the value of x, we can't solve the problem. So we need to go back to this part of the problem. So if 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, well, right here we have a lovely linear equation. So a simple algebraic equation, and here we can solve for x, get that value, and then plug it in right here. So that is the strategy, and this should not hopefully have been uh, too difficult to identify, but if you're like, oh, now I get it, all we have to do is work through this simple math. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do here is solve this simple algebraic equation for x. And this type of equation in algebra is known as a linear equation because we have one variable to the first power. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and uh, figure out the answer here, again, this is a very simple algebra equation. But some of you have been away from algebra for a long time, so I'm going to break this down a little further for those of you that need a quick refresher. So when you are solving algebraic equations, you want to get your variable terms, things like uh, this 2x on the left-hand side, and all your numbers on the other side. So here, this 2x is in its right spot, so we don't have to move that uh, in this equation, but this 3, this number, we want to get that to the other side of the equation, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. But the main idea when it comes to solving algebraic equations is to think of them as a balanced scale. So let me kind of see if I can draw this here. So here is a scale. Here's a little fulcrum. So let's suppose we have like five pounds here and five pounds here. And these five pounds are um, exactly the same distance away from this fulcrum. So we would have a, a nice little scale here in perfect, uh, perfect balance, right? So let's suppose I add three pounds over here someplace. Well, of course, this is going to get out of, uh, you know, whack. It's going to get heavier on the right-hand side. It's going to get out of balance. So in algebra, the equal sign is basically saying, hey, you need to keep the left and right-hand side in perfect balance. So you can do anything you want to one side of the equation. Like here, I can add three to this side of the scale, but uh, I can't really leave it this way without adding a 3 over here, all right? So in other words, to keep this scale in balance, I have to do uh, the same thing to both sides of the equation. So you can add whatever you want as long as you add the same thing to both sides. You can subtract whatever you want 
uh, to an equation as long as you do the same thing to both sides. Same thing with multiplication and division. So just keep that in mind when you are taking steps to solve an algebra equation. All right, so let's uh, take the steps to solve this uh, simple linear equation right now. And as I indicated, uh, our variable term 2x is uh, in the right uh, place, so we don't have to mess with that, but we do want to move this uh, 3 to the other side of the equation. So how can I get rid of a positive 3 on the left-hand side of the equation? Well, easy, all I can do here, or what I can do, is subtract a 3 away from this positive 3 because positive 3 minus 3 is 0. So that effectively gets this number uh, away from the left-hand side of the equation. But remember, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So the trick here is that we're going to subtract uh, 3 from both sides of the equation, and then we're going to add down in a column manner. So we get 2x plus nothing is 2x, positive 3 minus 3 is 0. So that goes away, so we have no more numbers on the left-hand side. And then here we have 7 minus 3, and uh, of course that is 4. All right, so now we're down to 2x is equal to 4. And to solve this simple equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So this is 2x or 2 times x. So when we divide both sides of the equation by 2, notice again I'm doing the exact same operation. We have 2 divided by 2, that is 1, or 1x. But in algebra, you don't have to write the 1 in front of the x. You can just uh, leave that as x. So x is equal to 4 divided by 2, which, of course, is 2. All right, so now that we know that x is equal to 2, we can go back to our problem. All right, so if 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, this is a fancy way just to say, hey, x is equal to 2. So what is the value of 3x minus 4? Well, as I indicated, now that we know what x is equal to, all we have to do is plug it in or uh, plug in this value for x right there and then do the number crunching. So let's uh, do that right now. So if x is equal to 2, what is the value of 3x minus 4? Before I show you the last steps to solve this problem, take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, if you need additional help in math, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, basic math, pre-calculus, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so really not much to do here. So now that we know that x is equal to 2, we're trying to figure out the value of 3x minus 4. And this is going to be real easy because we're going to replace this x with 2. So that means that we're going to, uh, we need to figure out what 3 times 2 minus 4 is equal to. So remember, the order of operations, we need to do multiplication before subtraction. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 4, of course, is 2. So going back to our multiple choice question here, we need to look for the right answer. And of course, that's A. All right, now, if you got this right, well, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. You can have an extra special day. Nice job. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.